All right, should be started. Uh, we're supposed to have Lunar join us, but I don't know where the hell he's at. I sent him the link. He's on Do Not Disturb on Skype, so I'm not sure. So I guess I'll just wait until he shows up. But I was like, I guess I could wait, but I'm already late. Like, I apologize. I'm a couple minutes late, people, but we're still going to do the stream. I'm just off today. I didn't even know that the the stream wasn't set up yet. So I had to get it, create it, set it up, and Lunar's not here. <laughs> so hopefully he gets uh, he hops on here and we can get started. But uh, until he joins, I guess I could just go ahead and duel with like Uval trains. It's not like this deck's really a Uval deck. It's just Uval with trains in it for some rank 10 play. And so fuck it, we'll just go ahead and start off with this. And uh, hopefully Luna will join us. If not, and that's fine too. I, I can go ahead and handle the stream for myself as long as I got you guys here to talk to. And, you know, I mean, I record in the majority of daily duels talking to myself. So, you know, that that is no problem. No problem at all. So, uh, yeah, just waiting for that uh, for that ban list. That's pretty much what we are waiting for. And... Uh, I can start doing things like it, it, no ban list is such a freaking hindrance. It really is. Like you can't do shit until you get a, a you know an actual ban list. It really sucks. This hand is not bad. It's just not a hand I want to go first with. I'll take it. I'll go second. I'll skip using our switch yard and doing that to go second. Yeah, you made me go first, and this is definitely a going second hand. I probably should have said to metal flex line. I don't know why I didn't do that. <laughs> I was thinking about maybe pitching it though. Oh, it's Buster Blader. All right. Maybe you can show me how it's done, because on Daily Duels, I seriously have a hard time with this deck at times, so. Yeah, but just not a great day for me, <laughs> really not. A, I ended up waking up at like 2 o'clock in the morning, and I just couldn't get back to sleep. Now it's 10, and I have not been back to sleep, so I'm a little tired, but I can fight through the tired. I can fight through the sleepiness for the stream, you know. It doesn't help that there's no one here to uh, keep me too engaged. I don't know, it definitely doesn't help, but, uh, you know, maybe we can go ahead and... Uh, be fine in the end. So I went ahead and added his Buster Blader and set two cards. I mean, all right. Uh, I'm kind of just feeling like I should just go ahead and play Switch Yard, pitch the the Lefix Cyber End and, and get me uh, the Crane and do that play. I had the Oasis and that. So I guess I'll go ahead and do that. So is that good? And uh, hopefully this play will work. If not, then I might be in trouble. Maybe it means the effect. I'll go ahead and pitch the Malefic Cyberon. He's good, but he's not fantastic. If you have an MST or Twin Sister now, it's the time to play it. So I'll go ahead and take Meg. But now I, I would gladly switch Malefic Cyberon for uh, Night Express Night and go into a door any day. I was just going to draw it anyway. Like, all right. Just to get that spot pop on my opponent's turn is very powerful. I guess I could have just summoned Night Express Night and did that play. That was, that was pretty good. That would have been a pretty good play, too, as well. So, normal summon? Good. Uh, nothing from Lunar. I, I asked him, I was like, are you going to be good this Saturday to go ahead and join me? He said, yeah, so. All right, so. On summon, he's going to go ahead and summon his Buster Blader guy, which is fine. So... Uh, I'm not a dragon, definitely not a dragon, so I'm going to go ahead and resolve summoning this. Alright, if you control the best of your huge monster, banish all monsters your opponent controls. Oh, wow. Well, that sucks. Those uh, two set cards fucked me up good. Like, wow. But I, I really I had to run right into that. I really didn't have any other place. So. At least he can't attack me directly, so I don't have to worry about that. But damn, I got fucked up real good. He was just like, oh, both of them. Like, we're going to be attempting a new version of Buster Blader. Uh, one that goes off that new trap card to summon. And hopefully, I mean, I still think the Pendulum based version is good. But we'll see. Because they find that trap card is really great. So, hopefully it is. And we can actually do something with it. If not, then, all right. So, I really can't do much with Derek Crane here. Yeah. The Sheen Monster is normal or special summon to your side of the field. I don't have any right now. So... Uh, I guess I'll just go ahead and take a turn slower. I'm still okay for right now. I really don't want to pitch anything right now. I can't summon you back no matter what, so. And this is one of the flaws of the Buster Blade Fusion, definite, indefinitely. You just, you can't attack your opponent directly with him. You can't just, like, can't touch him. Wow, and I'm just getting fucking, uh, 
Derek Crane's like, at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and pitch. So I use switch effect. Okay. I didn't get a second one. I might have I might have hung hold, held off, but instead, like, let me just go ahead and set up my plays again. You go in the door and run your ass over. Normal summon. Special summon and go right into Dora. Dora, 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 the Explorer. Dora, run your ass over because you're not that strong. And I'm not a dragon and all I have is machines. Yeah, and it's so simple. It's just just turn the duel around through that, those plays. It really is. Uh, I probably could have busted out another Dora. I could have went Oasis, summon, summon, made another uh, second Dora. My bad. Definitely should have done that instead. I could have got an extra 32 on there. Could have got a 30, extra 32. <laughs> ah, where the hell is Lunar? Like, if Lunar doesn't show up, I mean, that's totally fine. You know, that's totally fine. But it's just like, hey, I asked him if he's going to be good. Uh, so you, you was Arabic. Now, I don't know. Twitter is weird. It really is. Uh, what's good? Yeah. Hello. Uh, you is K. It's all about skill. Fuck no. No, seriously. Fuck no. Uh, Bush of Blood Fusion has many flaws, including no direct attack. Yeah, yeah. That's one of the major flaws, though. It's just like, you busted out this big old fusion monster, to, and you can't even touch me. Like, it's just that's so fair. Like, all I have to do is just take it slow. And you have nothing to turn my shit into dragons? Like, I haven't even seen you go into your freaking, uh, 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 fu uh, synchro monster? Like, you just can't touch me. It's so great. I can go ahead and summon, summon. I guess I'll just go ahead and go into another Dora, because why the fuck not? You know? Like, literally, why the fuck not? Just go into another door. Go ahead and activate that metal reflect sign. Like, screw it. You don't want to do anything? I'll go into Dora. There we go. Ah, ah. You know, it wasn't game, but uh, you know another door was coming. Actually, it probably would have been game if I would have went to uh, Gustav Max. 32, 3,000, 62, and then blast them for 2,000. Yep, that would have been game. Yep. I mean, I probably would have went into a second door because I'm just so oblivious to when shit's the game. But, yeah, so he just scooped it up anyway. Well, that's one victory. I thought it was, I thought it was in a kind of dire situation uh, once he hit me with that freaking banish all my shit play uh, trap card with this fusion. But it's not like I could have threw the react at him. I was already in the middle of the play because I had to special summon my monster, and then he'd play at the resolution of my summons. I was fucked over anyway. It's not like I could have, I could have been like, no, nah, I don't want to special summon my Derek and I'll hit you with your Becky. <laughs> so. But I didn't really think that he was going to be playing that card. Uh, I'll go second. I said, I don't know where he is. He said he was going to be here, and he is not. So, And yes, they are too strong. Oh, what's up, Billy? <laughs> uh... Yes, yes. Uh, Trey Mack, that's also one of my, another one of my real life friends. It's Billy, just like Fonzo was blue. <laughs> just revealing everybody's identity. You can't run away. <laughs> All right, so this hand's okay. It's not great. You got Army Get and I and Broda, Twin Twisters to pitch and pops and back. That's not terrible. Got my Dare Crane, Call the Haunted. It's not terrible. If worse comes to worse, I totally wouldn't mind some time again. I send you Bell and Twin Twistering one of his cards, Emma Call the Haunted, and popping you Bell and summoning Terror. That's if and only if it comes to that. So he's going to go ahead and if you control the monster, especially summon Junk Forward. That is fine. What are you going to go into, sir? Summon your Resonator. Yep. Summon Dandelion. Yep. <laughs> That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just straight up sync eight right now. Ooh, if he had a freaking a level four to summon, he could have trished me first turn. Not that I would have done too much damage, but still. Oh, Stardust Dragon, too. First turn, Stardust Dragon. Yep. So, I guess my Twin Twister, well, he's not sending me back around anyway. That's like, I guess my Twin Twister is absolutely useless. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I guess I could deck thin. I can give me another freaking Armageddon Knight, because that's totally what I need is another freaking Armageddon Knight. Or I can get a Dark Refer, but I'm about to send you Bell right now, so. But I don't need another, I don't need another Armageddon Knight. I'll just take the duel slow. I'll get Dark Refer. So I'm an Armageddon Knight. Uh, go ahead and go effect. Send you Bell. I have Call. Come twist her, even though he will not let me get away with that. He'll definitely start to negate that. But maybe he'll want to go ahead and pop 
my call, maybe. Hopefully, like, wow, just didn't open up with uh, much trains this time. Uh, what's your personal thoughts on Spell Strider besides being a fuck you to Marax? Uh, I will be doing a card review of him on Monday, so there you go. <laughs> you can this content by sending one level four lower monster. Damn, Andy has Andy and the glob bulb. Like, holy shit, like. Like dandy, glow up bulb, like fucking number generator, like let's go. All right. Then if you do decrease this all by the level that monster, so it's decreased by one. So it's down to, I guess, five. And yep, yep, here we go. <laughs> I just get wrecked. Oh, and then top deck right into a plague spreader, like, all right, cool, cool, cool story, bro. It's like the, the the generator is on your side. My fucking hand is just garbage. I'm getting is not as bay as he used to be. He used to be, he, he's not as bay as Dark Griffith. Yeah, you know? I'm getting nice just doing his job. He's just he's just doing a job, getting his paycheck. But there's never been a time where I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm getting. I used you saved the bacon. Like no, bills. So I got to deal with stars and bills. No, he was seven. Wait, he was five, wasn't he? Yeah, he was five. This is six, seven. Oh, never mind. He used the dandy token. Yeah, he uses the dandy token. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. He opened up pretty well, I must say. I opened up like fucking booty. <laughs> Do I have anything? I have Castel. I have Dark Rebellion. Dark Rebellion would be great. Depends on what he goes into. If he goes into fucking like Stardust Warrior, I'm fucked. He went into Shooting Star. Okay. So something, once you turn your opponent, the card's an attack, you can banish the tower guard, it's one. One. You're attacking once. All right. Oh, shit, this is going to be a difficult duel. Does he put them back in any order? Oh, you shuffle them back. Okay. That's fine. Like it would be... Could, I'm thinking about maybe making a Castell and spinning back the, sh the Shooting Star. That'd be great, but then I still gotta deal with Scar Wright. Maybe I'll draw into something to deal with him later. The myth of number generator continues to stun me. Still, people don't believe number generator. Your number generator is a real thing, people. Like, I, I preach that. That's the fucking church of that fucking number generator. I'm not the fucking... The fucking Pope of the number generator, like, man. <laughs> Next turn, I can use my Call of the Haunted, Nick Castell, spin back the thing. Does, don't you, like, leave to block? You still negate destruction, right? Once turn, either of turn, when a card effect is activated, that would destroy cards on the field. Yeah, you can destroy it. And then once per turn, opponent card is attack. You target attack monster, banish this card, and if you do, negate the attack. And special summon it. So Regeki is pretty much useless, but not terribly useless because I can just Regeki him when I'm done, and then he'll pretty much be out of resources, and I'll be sitting okay. I just need to start drawing into fu some fucking trains, and I can actually duel. But I'm about to spin away his uh, his uh, his uh, shooting star, and then just throw the Regeki at Scar Wright. So that, that's pretty good. Pretty good. I didn't draw into any darks to pitch the special, so. I guess I'll just go ahead and uh, set up everybody. I mean, make sure I just absolutely don't draw any U bells. That's great. They hate RNG. That's just Yu Gi Oh for you. That is just Yu Gi Oh. Like, shit. Lunar, it doesn't look like Lunar is going to show up. Like, maybe I, can, maybe I should invite someone else. Maybe I should invite someone else. <laughs> uh. I can, uh, well, I guess, I guess Mal is here. I guess I can invite Mal. You want to join Mal? Since it doesn't seem like Luna's showing up and we're already like a half an hour in at this point. <laughs> so, overlay. Go ahead and go into Mr. Castell. Oh, I could have went into Dark Rebellion. No, because I got to get rid of him. 
Well, I guess I could, no, because you can block my attacks too. You can block my attacks too. That still is a prep choice. Get rid of that. Where do you stand on the money hitting towers with their many extra deck? They're making extra deck towers seem all you two and putting their two pence in. I guess I could talk about that. Uh, really, it's really either or. Like, I take, I would say all or nothing. Like, either you unban towers. I mean, you already hit fucking Scout, and all you had to do was all you had to do was hit Wavering Eyes, and Tower Turbos would be dead. Like Tower Turbos isn't a thing without fucking uh, Wavering Eyes. So you need to hit Wavering Eyes anyway. That would be killing two birds with one stone. But instead, you decide to go ahead. Oh, you're on your phone. Oh, okay. You know. <laughs> uh, instead, you decide to go ahead and hit Scout when you should have hit Wavering Eyes, and you killed Cleves because of Tower Turbo and. Yeah, then you can go ahead and remake fucking two more monsters. Like I said, it's, it's all or nothing. Either you go ahead and release towers, which really wouldn't do much anymore, especially with Scout at one, Clues are dead anyway. And uh, there's just boss monsters you can't touch, too bad for you. That's just how it goes. Or you just ban them all. Simple as that. But either way, it really depends on how bad the others, the other two are. I mean, so we've seen the Megazord's top. And, uh, of course, Ultimate Falcon isn't out in the TCG yet, so... He used up a butt ton of resources to pull out that play, and I handled it pretty well. Thank you, Rigeki, because I probably could have handled one, but I think that's that. I can handle both. Oh, never mind. He's Pokestrider. Shredder. I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, that's great. Yep, I was like, let me guess. You have a level four. Let me guess. You have a level fucking four. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, here comes Goyo Guardian. Here comes fucking Goyo Guardian. I deserve that. <laughs> Damn, got, now I'm getting wrecked by top deck play spreader too. And I got the fucking monster who wrecks me as soon as I summon a monster stronger than him. Like, oops. Great. Great. Totally what I needed. That's also not what I needed. Like, shit. At this point, I might as well just go ahead and set Dark Greffer. Can't play you. Can't play you. Like... This man is literally drawing into, like, everything he needs while I'm not trying to shit. At least he's not drawing into a new card. I already used my fucking Regaki, and as soon as I go into anything, like, please, let me draw into a fucking train. Thank you. So, I'll, I'll pitch, get that. That will be lower than him. Especially some of that. That will be lower than him. Go into Dora, I'm on, and then I can just make myself unaffected by your fucking shenanigans. Simple as that. So, I actually got to play now. Thank you. Thank fucking Jesus Christ. I actually got to play. So, I will go ahead and use my effect. Shoot to the grave, because you're freaking pretty much useless, because as soon as some of you are going to get popped. And I'm actually in this duel now, people. Ah, Regeki. Regeki is just a, a beast of a card. Like, serious, I swear to God. Like, how how is, how is freaking uh, Regeki legal, but Dark Hole is not even at three? Like, what the fuck? Like, so of course, we're going to go ahead and go into Dora. You can go ahead and use your effect, or you can hold your piece. I mean, it's really all the same to me. So. It was turn. Alright. Okay. And then... You're not really a threat anymore, but I guess you could be a threat in the future. Ah, oh, fuck it, just kill you. I'm ahead in this duel now, so. I've actually turned it around, and I got freaking Derek Crane attached, so if he summons any threat, I could just spot pop him. So, that's good. Let's do that in the face. Take that off, and go ahead. So, that was just, yeah, I, mean, I needed that draw. I've been struggling this entire duel. I finally got the draw I needed to bust out some actual training. Sexy action. <laughs> Are you fucking shitting me? This is a card. She has a level two. So we're gonna draw a card. Like wow, this man. He just keeps. He just keeps drawing. People. He just keeps drawing. Mm -mm, I haven't caught it yet. You get a movie trailer. Yeah. Someone's another tuner. I said I have Dora, so 
only does he have to deal with Dora, but he has to also get over Dora. So I'm kind of wondering where he's going to go with this. Uh, are these two just going to become like, like a catastrophe or something? Librarian. If I and it's during either player's main phase. Hold on, hold on. All right. Just, wow, you're just gonna end it. So I guess you're like, oh, I can end it. Uh, synchro summon draw on a card during your opponent's main phase. You can immediately synchro summon. So, uh, during your end phase, you catch. So I'm affected. Hurricane effect. Pop that. Because I know you're gonna go no black rows. <sighs> I know you're gonna go no black rows. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I can handle this myself. This man drawing tits. <laughs> yep, yep, doing jack shit. That's right. Uh, that's what I need to do. Oh, it's a bear current effect, and, he, and then he just sat there. Yeah, that's not thought. You're not black racing me. No, thank you. And now I am affected by shit more. So, to fact. Uh, I think I saw another express tonight. Yes, I do. So, if need be, I can go ahead and take it slow next turn. Just summon and handle that situation. You die. Like, and there's no synchro summon during my turn, no black rather than that shit. Uh, that was just a fine play. And it's soul charge time. Like, it's totally soul charge time. Like, play soul charge. Okay. Solar wind jammer. Summon fucking resonator. What the fuck? Man! This man keeps topping, top decking the titties. What is this shit? <laughs> Every time I take him fucking down, he's just like, draw, top deck, draw, top deck, top deck, top deck, draw, top deck. Like, all right. So, hot red would be great. Scar ain't going to do shit because I'm stronger than you. I'm like, wow, just keep top decking. Okay. Hey, do you have anything in your graveyard? I don't believe I don't I don't I don't remember seeing anything. You already used glob glob, so you're just gonna make hot red. I mean archery. I'm like, sure. You can have that. That ain't what I'm mad at. No, I'd rather hold on to a play and just do no damage this turn, so. If I do damage this turn, it would not be game. It would not be game. So I'll just go ahead and take it slow. But go ahead. And uh, just going to summon you with level 10. And overlay into another Dora. Yep. Holy shit. I'd rather hold on to the waste right now. Seriously, like this man, this man is the fucking, the you say of synchros. Like this man is just synchroing it up. Just die. You don't take any damage. Go ahead. <laughs> this is, man, let's see if he fucking top decks into something to block my attacks. Like, knowing my fucking luck, probably. 32-32 game. Like, do I, do I got it? Did I finally fucking win after all your top deck shenanigans? Ah, thank you. Ah, ah, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Seriously, that was some heart of the cards fucking main character, some bullshit. I think I'm again, night again. <laughs> Just so quiet. <laughs> I want to do some Fire Kings. Oh, my God. <laughs> The top decking was just fucking real, man. I've, I've never seen luck so strong. That man has luck resonating through him. Yeah, his luck had to run out eventually, which is great. I was, I was really worried he was going to just 
sack me with like a soul charge or something and just turn the whole fucking duel around. But luckily he never got that in the end, so that's great. Ah, uh, look at this classic Fire King hand. Another U Bell in sight. Ah, uh, that's just how exactly how it's played, right? <laughs> Yep. Yep. What's up? Hey, 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 ha, ha. Sure. After this duel. Sure, we can go ahead and duel. Just go ahead and throw your little message off screen. Oh, well. If he wants to do that, I kind of want to get some damage in. Fuck it. I got, I'm just going to summon Yaksha and poke you. You're not going to do anything? Take this 18, boy. That's a nice chunk out of your life points. You, you, you get rid of me. Even if you want to go into that castell and get rid of me, I'm still fine. You know, but if you kill me, I got you down in my hand. I got Garunx in my hand. Like the players are about to get started if you fucking touch this Yaksha. Never touch this Yaksha. Now I just need Fire King Island. But you already know how power that card is. Like, whoo, whoo, that card is some power. <laughs> we're running tank. We're running terraforming Fire King Islands. We're running all the good shit. Don't get a single one. Like, all right. <laughs> Hey, yeah, I should have won that duel a long time ago, but hey, that's what happens when you don't draw shit. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Huh. High number generator. Yeah, go ahead and get your fucking joker. Get your fucking monkey board, and I can just go ahead and commit Sukuku right now. Uh, here comes the anxiety of dueling gets a pendulum based deck. <laughs> My fucking fire kings are useless, people. Fucking useless. Oh, never mind. This, this is bad, though. This is bad. Uh. <laughs> uh, you act like magicians are bad. They're so fucking good. They're like they're so fucking good. Mm hmm They never were bad. They just people stop playing them. Like God, they're like one of the best blank pendulum engines. So yep, here comes the anxiety. How long can I last in this duel? I I predict not that long. I really do. I predict not that long. <laughs> Cause you you already know this fucking deck, this fucking deck, people. Pendulum, just pendulum mechanic is in general is just fucking crazy. Maybe I'll get lucky and he'll like exceed these two. Okay, good. He's gonna exceed those two and like maybe like Castell or something. Like, please, please do, sir. I'll even get my fucking button ready. There we go. Sure. Sure, because I got Onslaught and I got Dark Hole, so I'm okay. Just just floatiness to your pendulum monsters. No thank you. No, no thank you, man. Okay. Hurt, but at least I'm not de dead. And at least those monsters are in the graveyard as materials. Oh, welcome fucking Wolf Bark's useless as fuck. <laughs> That's funny. So, uh,. I can summon Barong, hit him with the Dark Hole. No, I think Barong still needs to be in the graveyard to resolve his effect. Let me see. During the next time phase, act this card was destroyed by a card effect. So let me let me ask, let me ask you guys a question. If I summon Barong, hit him with the Dark Hole, then go Wolf Bark summon Barong, see detach the Barong. Do I still get Barong effect during some of this? I don't think so because I think he has to be sent directly to the grave and then not touched anymore to resolve his effect. I think. But it would be dangerous to leave shit like that, so I guess I'll go ahead and do the onslaught play. <laughs> Number ten, or my old friend, come to fuck me up again. Yep, <laughs> it saved me a couple of times, but it's it's. I'd say it's fucked me more often than not. I definitely say it's fucked me more often than not. All right, well, I guess I can go ahead and summon Bronx because I'm going to come back to understand standby phase and wipe anyway, so... And I want him in the graveyard anyway. So, uh... I'm good not attacking. I'm okay. I'm just going to go ahead and end my turn. Okay, end of maze phase one. Oh, Compulse. Hello, fucking number generator, my old friend. Hello, number generator. Holy shit. Ugh. Okay. I'll just hit you as a star colon. And then you just go ahead and pound you on someone and fuck me. Uh, 
Go ahead. During your standby phase, let me get my effect. I guess I'll go ahead and grab another onslaught, because why not? Not that I'm going to survive this turn, I mean, depending on the mechanic. So just pendulum summon at least 3,500 points of damage, which I know what you can do, and then I'm fucked. So. <laughs> Oh, what? You don't have any plays? Like, hello? <laughs> oh. Thanks for the support. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, there's that powerful Fire King Island. Now we can actually get in this goddamn duel. What was I saying? Oh, just fucking number generator? That's all I'm saying, man. Like, who the fuck even plays Compulse? This guy. Did he get it? Yes, he did. So... <laughs> Uh, excuse me. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. <laughs> so I guess I can get the ball rolling. I wonder how many Castells he runs. He already used one, so that's great. Uh, the Fire King Island. Pop, like, Grunix. Get me, and then start looping. That wouldn't be a terrible play. It's just, you know, one simple spin away and I'm done. So, that's kind of worrying, I must say. I think I might go ahead and do it though. Go ahead and go Island Effect. Uh, I mean, Ubel is pretty good right now. And Burnix. They're both kind of pretty good. I don't know what I want to pop. Because uh, either or, it's going to be the same result. So, I'll pop you. And I guess go ahead and get me one of you. Yeah, you. Yeah, I guess I'll just start the loop right now and hold off on all my plays for now. Let's go ahead and summon Yaksha, Pokey Furry Team. I don't want to summon Sacred Phoenix and pop his pendulum, get rid of his pendulum skills, but uh, I don't have a way of summoning Sacred Phoenix on I mean, And I can't even get, it's not Fire or King, Sacred Phoenix, of Nephthys, it's just Nephthys, so. Oh, I guess I'm done. Go ahead. And during your standby phase, I'll go ahead and summon back Gurnix. Fact. Pop the Aksha. Fact. Pop Gurnix. And then we'll just start the loop. <laughs> Pendulums is so fair. They're not. They really aren't. It's, it, it's a dirty mechanic. It's so powerful. Like, just the thought of you being able to jump me with cards. Just it gives me anxiety. Like return from different dimension, anxiety. Fucking soul charge, anxiety. And then just the mechanic and the whole mechanic gets to fucking jump me with pendulums. Like, oh, that sounds fun. That sounds fun. Yeah. Tell you the truth, I don't see Yu Gi Oh lasting much longer. I'd say maybe, maybe like three, four more years. Yep. So, there's that powerful, broken-ass pendulum call. You know, pitch something to get your pendulum scales. Pretty powerful, right? Pretty power. <laughs> so this is the pendulum mechanic in the magician. It never was bad. It just got stopped being played as much. There we go. So, he's back in the duel. He's got some pendulum-based monsters, so he is back in the fucking duel. And my shit is pretty much useless. <laughs> So normal summon, you have a second Castell, spin me back, tack tack game, right, right, um, right. <laughs> or do you got that Utopia of the Lightning? I mean, it's all the same. It really it is. It's all the same. One on one. I was winning this duel just a second ago. I know you got something. Dark Rebellion, anything. Another Castell. Another Castell. All right. All right. So I lose. That's game. Yep. Got destroyed by the pendulum mechanic. Because that's so fair. He could say, go ahead and summon all the monsters from his hand. Hey. <laughs> and he didn't use his normal summon, too. So, yep. Sure, it was a Dark Magician deck, but hey, 
Did I lose the Dark Magician? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Did I lose the Pendulum Mechanic and the Magicians? Oh, absolutely. Pendulum 2, Xing? Hey, that's a thing. <laughs> Whatever. I hate the Pendulum Mechanic. <sighs> Definitely one of the main reasons why I stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in real life competitively. Besides just terrible luck. I just I don't like the mechanic that much. And when I played Klee's, at least they were neutered by what they can do. At least if I'm Pendulum Summon, I'm only summoning Klee monsters. At least I'm not jumping you and being like, Pendulum, Synchro, Fusion, XE, like, yeah. So. But whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just, just the way that they wanted the mechanic to be. They want you to get a crash and burn, then more power to you, Konami. Wow, just not all spells. No, no Fire King monsters, no nothing. Hopefully I draw into something. I can deck them with terraforming. I am running a chicken game, so I can go ahead and take terraforming, get chicken game, pay a thousand draw cards. Hopefully draw into some monsters. It's really all I need. It's just really one monster, and this ball can get rolling. Ah, Runix. Nice of you to show up, so... I'm going to go ahead and play that double terraforming and uh, give him my field spells. So I guess I'll get another Fire King Island in my one uh, chicken game. Just deck thinning. Chicken game? Attack. Hit a thousand. Draw me a card. Fucking power. <laughs> then uh, I'm just gonna get and switch it out because I don't want you to have that filth spell. <laughs> like, nah, you don't get chicken game. I'll just go. I'll go ahead and keep chicken game. Uh, then I can just go ahead and summon Barong, poke him for a uh, uh, eighteen hundred. Ah, cute, cute. But uh, you see, you see, I got another one. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, so good. So good. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Wrong. Put you for 1800. He thought he had it. The MST. Like, oh, wow, MST. I'm seeing that card in a cool minute. It's fucking Twin Twister. Uh, in fact, you. And give me a Fire King monster, which is fine. Uh, so another one of you wouldn't be terrible. Yakshad really don't need a Fire King Island, so. I get another Garunix. Trying to think. Do that next turn, so. Yeah, I'm okay. I'll just grab me another Brawn. Does it have to be a different name? Or you just, no, just says add a Fire King monster. Yep. And uh, besides that, I'm done. Go ahead. So, of course, turn the standby phase. I'm gonna get that fucking powerful onslaught of fire kings. Uh, sure. Okay. I mean, as you guys know, I'm not the biggest fan of DVDs, but I'm sure. There's really no point in denying it all. Ah, number generator. Ah, number generator. <laughs> this man went fucking activate one for one, pitch up, pitch glow up ball. Ah, number generator. <laughs> Look, let's go. <laughs> Swear to God, fucking generator. I mean, how do you not believe this shit? <laughs> nah, no, this is not this is not rated. I, I will never play rated on the end. There's just no point. Not a really a tryhard. What do I gain from dueling and rated? Dueling against meta? Like, I'm never on DN except for looking up shit or playing you bell, so I don't need a rating. I'll keep my I'm proud of my 100 0. Can't get more pro than that. 100 0. Like, let's go.
Go ahead and use that powerful glow up bulb. Ah, glow up bulb, you're so you're still so powerful. <laughs> Season abuse you draw two cards. Yep. You're supposed to go neg on a synchro or something, but nah. I'm gonna go plus. <laughs> I guess you go neg with, with one for one. Then you summon back glow up bulb, which is just plus. Fact even once per turn. No, it's not. <laughs> Just when you sent the graveyard, you get to draw a card. Get it even out with your fucking resources. Because why the fuck not? Yep. Can you gain attack? No. Just launch it in the field. Well, I guess he would gain an extra 200 for formula. Now, obviously, he wants to touch that so I can sink five, so that's obvious as all hell. Onslaught. I'm going to go ahead and summon that Burenix because that's fucking fair. I get to summon goddamn Burenix from my deck. And you'll probably go ahead and hit me with that, uh, with that, uh, Black Rose, right? You can have that. That ain't what I'm mad at. Sure. Or Moonlight. Moonlight would be good. Nope, Black Rose. All right. Go ahead and say effect if you want to. Definitely destroy my Fire King Island, which is fine, I guess. You can always just summon Barong. Effect? Okay. He's like, oh man, I'm like, want to destroy me or not? Yours is yours. I really don't care. Okay. It is all the same to me, so I'm just going to go ahead and summon Barong and poke you. Like, there's really no point in me doing much overextending, none of that. Poke with Barong, I can I can get me another Fire King Island. Like that's not a problem. It just says get any Fire King card, right? I had a Fire King card. That includes Fire King Island, so wrong too strong. Unset this. I'll go ahead and end my turn. During your standby phase. Let me back that Runix. Fat destroy. And then of course Barong will go off next time with phase and get me a Fire King Island or Onslaught or Circle. It is all good. I got a circle set. Like, ah, still power. And you know what the sad thing is? He still got six fucking cards in his hand. Like, he's just keeping up his resources. You have the game of resources, he's keeping it up. He's supposed to take negs on the synchro summons, but he's not negging. <laughs> he's drawing. Is, is Yubel needed in fucking Fire Kings? No. But... There's synergy. That's why the deck is made, because there's synergy. Does it work out perfectly? No. Do is it necessary? No. Is it more like you belt on in Fire Kings? Yeah. But I'm just not drawing you bell. I you know, run three you bells in there. Not saying any of it. Not that I really need you bell right now, but it'd be nice to actually get some you bell plays in. The, the power is real. I haven't seen Sacred Phoenix either. So. All right. Just going to go ahead and set a monster, huh? Standby phase, I guess. I don't know what I really want, though. You know, I wouldn't be terrible. I was going to draw it anyway. So, just go ahead and summon Wolf Bark. Get my effect on, unless you want to Veiler me. I mean, you're playing a Synchro deck, so you might have Veiler. You can go ahead and go into the powerful, powerful Tiger King. Uh... Tiger King, get your effect on, and set me that tanky. And I'll activate tanky, get search, and just in case it's the fan, I just thought, go ahead and add me another wolf bark because why the fuck not? Like, so good. And, uh, he's <laughs> like, yeah, I'm scared now. 
Should be. Is that currently face up on the field? Calcium material negates the effects of all face up effect monsters currently on the field. So, I, if, if it's a flip monster, I can't negate it. Oh, fuck it. 23 should be plenty for any set monster that you set. It's Raikou. Quibble. Alright. And let's go ahead and put it for 27. How much do you have left? I'm not doing that math. I'll just wait for you to type it in. And if I want to, I can go ahead and circle. And that should be game. Yep, that is game. Uh, done. Pop, summon, tack. Unless you have some kind of battle fetter so scarecrow, because I can just go ahead and pop my Druinix. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. Like, yep. <laughs> Ancient Gears, first structure deck. Mm. Sure, we can go ahead and run that back. And go ahead and run that back. I was never really into Ancient Gears. What's that really interesting gears though? We slow down. Side of cars. <laughs> what gates are just crazy sometimes in Yu-Gi-Oh. They really are. Yeah, I run it. Definitely run it. Diamond Dyer, you in here? There you are. Yep, I run Diamond Dyer. Diamond Dyer's power. This hand is not good. <laughs> it really isn't. Like, it's all of, it's all of the Oxa. Sit you not. Like, I don't even want to go chicken game and do anything like that, so. Uh, had, uh, had a eat that. Okay, it's a crazy. Especially Vandy's. Like, Vandy's is like the most powerful trap card. I've won duels just sitting. I've won duels and lost duels by just sitting on over my opponent sitting on Vandy's. Like, you can hit that your opponent with a warning and notice all and strike all fucking day, but how about you just lock down special summoning in general and beat the shit out of your opponent? Uh, there hasn't been too much vanities as of late. Not lately. Uh, it's not good against monarchs and stuff like that, so people haven't been playing it. But it, yeah, you can't deny it's a great card. <laughs> that can that can be said for a lot of things. Wow, milled a quick draw. <laughs> right, so pitch special summon, normal summon, and go to town. Are we about to see that first turn Quasar? He's got that first 10 quiz, I'm about to get wrecked. <laughs> Finally do Sacred Phoenix. I mean, is that one? So, if I ever need to do the Sacred Phoenix plays, they're there. It's just. <laughs> no, where, where am I going with this? Like, please give me that Fire King Island. Give me that Fire King Island, and we got the play. Like, the Fire King Island, Poppy Bell, get to search, summon Yaksha, Terrible Wipe, uh, Yaksha to Yaksha, destroy Sacred Phoenix. If I want to. I could probably take Sacred Phoenix out, because it seems like I'm just so in love with fucking, uh, with, uh, Fire King Island. I don't want to pop anything in Sacred Phoenix. I could probably take it out. Ah, uh, foolish. Yep, first turn Quasar. Then I, uh, snap my neck, kill myself. GG. Yep. <laughs> it's already looking like some fucking power right now. And you get the search out to Jet Synchron, you got the level in the graveyard. Like, there is going some shenanigans are going to ensue. Like I, I can already see some pretty powerful plays. Like he can can he already bust out a fucking uh like a like a crystal meth. These two go into a six, right? Then don't get the search. With this. No, no, he can't. Because he has to eat a level off the six, drop down to five, summon with the level eater, summon this back, then go into formula, so I'd be seven. 
I mean, I guess he could black res me again if he wants to. Oh, he's just going to eat the level off now. All right, so eat the level off now. And these two go into formula, draw a card, get the search if you want to. What happened to Jet? Did he summon Jet back? I guess he did. Oh, he already. I guess he already summoned Jet back. Yeah, because he didn't, he didn't do anything to summon Jet back. He, he's itself. Like, all right, so Jet is banished. No search, which is, I guess it's fine. So that's formula. There's quick draw. Y'all ahead and eat another level off. So it's now, oh, wait, you can't. It's level four now. When did he get Quibble? I don't remember Quibble getting in the graveyard, to tell you the truth. Maybe he did he pitch it for Quick Draw? Did he foolish it? I guess he foolished it. I didn't even know Quick I didn't even know Quibble was a fucking uh machine. Um no? Wait, no, 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 we can't do that. You have to lower him too. You can't machine do <laughs> like not not that or that. Like mm -mm. That's four, five, six, six. Dunk guard now? That's fine. Change of battle position doesn't affect me. It's literally all about destruction with me. He can go into an eight, though. He can fuck me up with the stardust and, of course, draw tear. All right. It's definitely not what I need to draw. I have nothing to destroy my Yaksha, and I'm probably going to get it. Like, this is not the greatest hand. I could risk it and play chicken game and draw into the next card, but none. I mean, there's a lot of cards I can go with that, I, that can help. But there's a ton of cards that I don't want to to draw and leaving the chicken game there is not the brightest idea either. But that's because it's come to desert measures because I drew one, two, three cards at one in my deck. So like this this might be the worst fucking hand I've ever drew with this deck. Like fuck that other hand. And I drew the dark hole. So I could just throw the dark hole at him, which is fine. So I could just summon Yaksha throw the dark hole at him. Is it a terrible play? Probably, but will at least allow me to defend myself for a little while. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and summon. Is that okay? He can go ahead and sink six. So. I mean, sink eight if he wants to. But even if I throw the dark hole out of night now, like he has to preemptively get the stardust. It's not like I go dark hole. He chains, goes into stars, and then can negate the dark hole. The chain resolve backwards, so he would sink or summon. Dark hole would resolve, and he would just get wiped anyway. So, so uh, just go ahead and hold on to this dark hole for me. So sink them if you got him, but there's nothing that will survive this dark hole. You can't fucking interrupt the chain and. With Stardust, so even summoning Stardust will get Dark Hold. Or Spark, you can't activate Spark. Yeah. Yep. Top deck that. Hella top deck that. That, uh, could destroy you, Bell. I'm thinking you, Bell. So, uh, we're actually getting you, Bell involved in this duel. Still not the greatest of hands. I really got some dead cards in here. No Fire King Island and no more Yaksha, so all he has to do is get rid of Terra without triggering summoning Yudel and yep. Stops you interacting with your opponent. I mean sometimes that's just Yu-Gi-Oh for you, man. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Thinkers can be insane. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. They're definitely the most skilled out of all the mechanics. I definitely I definitely agree with you on that one. Yeah. Xyz, not really. Fusion, you just gotta have your shoot poly and your materials, but you now synchro and you gotta know what's what to synchro, when to synchro, how to synchro, especially these, these synchro decks. Like you will probably never catch me voluntarily playing like a synchro deck because it's just it's too much, you know. It's a lot of it's, it's a lot of skill. It's a lot of skill. So that's a lot of I can't say skill, knowledge, knowledge, because Yu Gi Oh is not really too much of a skilled game. It's, it's really luck based. Saying that there's a lot of skill and saying that you're skilled in Yu-Gi-Oh is like saying that you're skilled in Uno. It's like what? Like it doesn't matter how skilled you are, supposedly in Uno. So what card you get, what card your opponent get? Did you not get all the wild cards in the draw fours? No? Okay, then you fucking lose. <laughs> Damn, this man's get has another tuning? Like this man's just getting all the tunings. That's skill though. That's that's skill. Getting all the tuning. Skill, guys, skill. <laughs> You know, he's getting all the tunings. I'm opening up like fucking hot garbage, so skill. Okay. The Synchron Explorer, sure. Just going into 
I mean, Terra isn't terrible. Oh, I guess they didn't want him, I guess. And assuming he put him back, I wasn't really paying attention. It's kind of looking at something right now. Well, go ahead and tell me. We can go ahead and work on it here on the stream. So I'll get himself a Junk Synchron and a Mel Quest Level Eater. What a great Mel. <laughs> what would have mailed if he didn't put his card back and do all that shuffling, reshuffling, whatever. It's cool. This is in real life. I'd assume that he still going to the deck and he hasn't set his deck down. So. Uh, is there anything? Yeah, we could try that. We could try that. Um, as all the Metal Fosses cards on DM, though. I don't think all the Metal Fosses cards on DM, like the trap card, yet. I'd have to see if the trap card is on there. We could do that. In theory, it would work. You know, go ahead and pop. As long as it, I don't think that the Metal Fosses cards would make you about this timing. So it could work. It could work. Sounds like a, sounds like a theory. Yep. Pop you bell, pop tear. Kind of be like Fire King you bell. It's just, you know... It has to be pop a card on the field. That's the problem. So maybe you run like, I don't know, like some Mystic Tomatoes. You can always punch them summon down. It has to be some way of busting out your bell on the field with fairly easy. It's not like in this deck where I can just be like, you know, Yaksha or, uh, well, here comes BLS. Yep. Yep. Uh, getting fucked over by the number generator like it's a fucking sport. You could, we could try something. We could try something like that. The pendulum scale is between 1 and 8, so... Yeah. So, like I said, if the trap card's there, we could try it. We can try it. I'll go ahead and get to it after this stool. We'll start working on it, from what I can see. Really depends on how much extra space we got in there, because it would be terrible. I mean, their pendulum scales are one in eight generic scales, so it'd be nice to go ahead and like pendulum something like Plague and Mally and just like sync. You know, it's not a terrible play. It really isn't. So I'm assuming that you have another play besides just summon BLS. I mean, I, it's motherfucking BLS, so there's never any complaints. Wow. So just summon BLS and then that's it. <laughs> that's funny. That's kind of funny. That that's all he got. Uh, kind of thinking about playing chicken game and destroying it. I'm, I'm going to destroy it now. Yeah. Don't need it. I'd rather go ahead and pack it that juicy 3000 and get my plays in with Wolf Bark too. Get my Tinky in and just get go to town on his ass. So. Like, ah, oh, Wolf Bark. You're so powerful. You're like fucking Norden. You're like fucking Norden. I'll be playing Norden in here, actually. Fuck it, why not? Until it gets hit, you might as well break the shit out of it, right? People oh, accidentally added it to him. Uh, so I'm going to get a nice chunk of damage in. Nice chunk of damage in. It's just a question on what I want to get right now. I think I want to just get another Wolf Bark. To tell you the truth. Just grab me another Wolf Bark. If shit hits the fan, and I've got a rank 4 play. It'd be nice to do something with these two. I might take you out, because I've not been liking you lately, but I'm really liking Fire King Island, and I'd probably want that to stay over having you. You're probably there for your bell play, but you're probably not even that necessary. So, what's a nightmare? Get to attack in. No, the fusion cards are great. Definitely. You just gotta play it properly. Pendulum summon your monsters fuse, they go back to the extract, so definitely. Uh, Ultimate Nightmare Kill at BLS. I seriously thought he had like a play after BLS. I thought he was going to like summon BLS and then like Regeki mute. I guess not. I guess he didn't know that's just when they removed from the field. So, very much sure. I got a nice chunk of damage. No, you, you take the. You, you take the. The Gotham too. Both. You take the 3,000 and you're destroyed. 
and 23. Okay. And uh, besides that, I'm okay. I haven't really done much fire kinging this duel. But hey, we got you Bell involved, right? I kept the uh, spell cards. It's like one of the best cards, you know. Fusion summon. Monsters go back to the extra deck. The 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 three material one, just a normal three thousand beer. He's kinda lame. The other one, just the two monsters. I mean, that's pretty good too. Because I don't think you'd get terror's effect when you fuse with it, because I believe it has to be the last thing that results. So I think you would miss timing, because you play Polly, send the monsters, summon, and then I think it'd be the same thing as like tributing. Tributing terror, polling with terror. I'm kind of wondering about that. Okay. All right, summon him back. Its effects are negated, so can he go into like Black Rose or is that a condition? I, I think it's a condition. I think it cannot be used as a synchro summon except for the synchro of a synchro monster as a tuner. I, I don't think you can negate that. Hey, Renny, you still up? No, I guess you sleep. <laughs> Say, Renny knows synchros. I know nothing about fucking synchros. So, I, I want to say it's a condition. But if I mean, if you want to black rose me, black rose me. If you can, I'm not sure if you can do that. But if you can, go ahead. All right, I will eat her. Yep. But you got You have to deal with Ultimate Nightmare, or you're gonna get killed. Ah, yep. She can dupe on that that Synchron Explorer. Yep, yep, yep. Up now. You can see monster with 500 attack left, or summon up to two. So, if you got two, summon two. If you got one, summon one. It's up to you. You can summon either one or two. But, yep, yeah, only one. All right. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Destroyer? Road All right. Does he count? Um, hold on. Can you go into Road Warrior with withdraw? I don't think you. Like I said, I'm not sure if you can. But I believe that's a condition. Yeah, it's a condition, not an effect that you can negate. He's not Road Synchron. I thought you were going to go into, like, story or something, right? It has to be a uh, synchron as a tuner, as a tuner. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Uh, synchron as a tuner. So I guess you can. Maybe it's different except for a synchron summon monster that lists synchron monster as a tuner, and I believe it's road synchron. So, yep, never mind. Continue. So, go ahead and get your effect. If summon a level 2 or lower warrior machine type monster from your deck, which I'm assuming will probably be Jet Synchron. Jet Synchron, Synchro with this and this. Go into Formula, draw a card. Get Probably get a search, too. And then maybe these two into, like, I don't know, Shooting Star? No, wait, Shooting Star has to be Stardust, doesn't it? I believe it has to be Stardust. I guess Stardust Warrior, but Stardust Warrior won't do shit against all the just attack you and you'll take the damage and die. No, I just I just won't do any inherent summons then. So not sure. You can go you can go into Leo, and Bell doesn't target, so. Hmm. Trying to figure out where you're going with this. I mean, as long as it doesn't do anything too crazy, I should be okay. For the next turn I can literally just go wolf bark, summon back, go into like cast stealth, bring you back, attack you directly for game, so. Warrior Machine. Yeah. 
Stop. <laughs> yeah, they, I, know, I know specifically it says warrior machine. That'd be broken if you could what fucking rare warrior can summon fucking uh whoa whoa holy shit. <laughs> Fuck it, go for Leo. Ultimate nightmare attack game. You got this in target? I don't give a shit about Leo. Now, if he deals with Ultimate Nightmare and then goes for Leo, then fuck me. You know, because... Uh, do I have a Utopia the Lightning? Go, 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 go. Yes. Ah, winning. <laughs> go and go and fucking Leo. Kill my fucking bad. Just go and Utopia the Lightning and attack over you. <laughs> ah, that would be wonderful. And you'd be taking that powerful 19. Hold on to that for me. All right. I seriously thought he was going to summon Jet. Like, I don't know why you summoned Unknown. Isn't Jet a machine? And you could have got a search with it, too. Why are... Have we seen Jet this duel? Yeah, Jet's a machine. Yeah, whatever. The top 8 Destiny Hero player. Destiny Hero's top 8 and what? <laughs> What 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 did this dot Destiny Hero top in? Like a UDS, regionals, YCS, what? Locals. <laughs> top eight out of locals that only had seven people participate. <laughs> I, f I saw that freaking Rainbow Neo stack in OCG. Free my nigga Stratos. Fucking Rainbow Neos can top in OCG, but free my nigga Stratos. I'm like, nah, get that shit out of here. <laughs> you know Stratus is putting that work. The heroes topped in ARG was Konomulus. Hmm. How many participants? That's surprising. I would like to see that. I would at least like to see the back. This man. If this was fucking Dead Pro. He would have timed out by now. <laughs> like, you can think all you want. Like, you're just going to have a bad time. You really are. And you gotta be wary of this wolf bark I have in my hand. Like, I don't know. Like, I didn't start us away, I guess. Pop and hear summons. It's kind of anticlimactic, but sure. I really can't think of a 10 that you can go into. Leo, I don't, Ultimate doesn't target, so that's not anything. Tried to sack me with that BLS, and now he's in a conundrum. George Nace. Okay. Sync 10? Leo? Starter, sorry. What the fuck is that? He's 10? I've never seen this guy before. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Turn him out to run to run to run to run to target the space of a card. You can send one card from your hand to graveyard. Hey, that was shit. Alright, once per turn. Turn your opponent's turn. You can banish one TG monster from your graveyard. You banish this card on the field. And then it comes back during the extent phase. I didn't even know this is a fucking card. I have never seen this card in my fucking life. Like, hello? <laughs> I've probably seen it, but it's just no no one plays TGs like that. So, alright. Got that one for one again. The one for one, once again, summoning that powerful glow up bulb. Going to another fucking formula, because that's all you do is just go into fucking formula. Like, Shit. What the fuck is this? Never mind. Alright. Once a turn, you can target one other TG. Synchro monster you control. Sometimes you grab it and all. Synchro monster are used for synchro summon. I don't agree, right? Because summon all of them. Okay. So he's going to break him off and summon back Road Warrior and formula and is that quasar i think that's fucking quasar are you shitting me am i really gonna get quasar right now like if i get quasar just fuck my life <laughs> just fuck my life <laughs> oh, fucking quasar <laughs> Okay. 
assault hammer. Like, oh shit. Yeah, that, that's Quasar. He, he fucking did it obscurely and I don't know. Way out of the way. It took him forever to think, but he, he got it. So I'll have Burger Quasar. Quasar wouldn't be terrible. Quasar can't really do anything. You know, I can bait the shit out of it. Like, my, my effects are continuous effect. Is it optional after this effect? I don't know. This, this is a certain balance of public mushroom. It's like, no, that's mandatory. That is mandatory. Oh, shit. So you can negate me with Quasar. That would suck. That would suck. Because I have to activate that effect. So I would be like, you know, uh, you battle me. I would activate my effect today, foot damage to you, and you would be like, nah, negate you, you're dead. Like, all right. And then I'd be completely fucked. I'd be top decking at that point. I would literally have to draw into, like, fucking, like, Onslaught or Dark Hole or Geki or something and then do the Wolfbark play. I'd have to bait the Quasar, but shit, I'm in a lot of trouble. She makes the Quasar. So all I have to do is make the Quasar attack over this, of course, and then attack this. I have to, I have, my effect has to go off. It is mandatory. So, <laughs> if, if it was optional, I would have it. I would just want Wolfbark, summon, you know, and keep it like attack. Like, now nah, I don't want my effect. Summon, summon, make a cast out, negate. All right, also nightmare attack. You take out 4,000, game. Fuck. <laughs> this can make a mega dark claw, C, depending on soul charge, insta fusion. So, just the usual play. So, mega is broken, dark claw is broken, soul charge is broken. And uh, I don't see Destiny Hero, really. I mean, it just sounds like shit heroes do. <laughs> so I guess he's just really thinking about who he wants to go into, whether it be Quasar or Salt Halberg or whatever. I said Quasar's that power, though. You get anything? Don't go into that new, that freaking ultimate starter spark, though. I'll kill you with that, like... You'll still take the damage. That's all I really care about right now is giving it that damage for game. I'll fucking burn you with fucking <laughs> Bazooki. <laughs> yep, sounds about sounds about sounds like heroes to me. I don't get the destiny heroes. Was it like just plague spreader and bills with heroes? And Maui? Like, what, what's the Destiny Hero on it? Like, wh wh how, how much Destiny Heroes? Because if it's literally just Mally, then that's not really Destiny Heroes now, is it? And don't just be like, oh, it's Mally and Diamond, dude. That's Diamond. That's Destiny Heroes. That's Destiny Heroes. <laughs> yeah, you got me thinking, like, fucking, like, Destiny and Dragoon did something. That just sounds like fucking Heroes to me. Just sinking with probably Mally and Plague. Dankle all that deck because there's probably Shadow Mist and, uh, and Mally. And, of course, Norton. Oh, he actually runs plasma. Now, how does he pull that off properly? How many plasmas? Just one. Tech plasma. Mally and plasma. All right. Well, it's not really destiny heroes, but I guess. That's it. I'd like to see. I'd like to see the deck profile because you know that destiny heroes are some straight booty. So to go there is really, really cutting it short. I'd like to see the deck profile. It just sounds like a Destiny Hero engine than freaking actual Destiny Heroes. Like him calling that deck Destiny Heroes is like calling this fucking shit Yubel. So, because I run Yubel in here, but it's really just Fire Kings, right? Plasma is an art, probably meant out to monarchs. Okay, so you can do it. <laughs> If you can fucking do it, it's pretty power. Yeah, there's Quasar. It took you that long to think of making fucking Quasar? Like, nigga, it's fucking Quasar. Just go. Just do it. Let's see if you're smart or not. If you're smart, you'll attack into me. And then I'll have to use my effect. If not, then I got it. I win. So, attack into me. Bait it. Bait it. Because I have to go. Let's see how smart this duel is. I'm not going to tell you shit. But if you're smart, you're attacking to me, and you just negate my effect. Because you know I'm, I have an effect. You know you have a negate, so you can you can fuck me up. It's not like I have anything else on this turn. I like I like a set mirror force you attack, mirror force you negate, and then you run into ultimate nightmare. I'm like, nah. Like, what the fuck is Tyra's effect? I don't know. What, what, what Tyra effect? 
Uh, I don't have three fire formations. Yo! You're dead to me. I was eating dinner. Shit, I asked you if you were good. <laughs> you know what time the stream was. I actually didn't. <laughs> I'm, you know, I didn't do the, uh, the good old time zone calcs. <laughs> I have three fire formations. Oh, no effect. <laughs> I don't have one. Yeah. It's not a fact. I don't know what you're talking about. Ugh, Quasar. Quasar. This is where you should be playing Kaiju. <laughs> Wait, where's Kaiju you bell? <laughs> Alright, I'll look at it in a sec. So. I didn't see. Did he attack me? Um, don't think so, but I wasn't oh. looking. I don't think he attacked me. Did you attack? I don't want to say. I I don't want to say anything because I don't want him to attack. Because he'll negate. Exactly. I mean, I'm literally done. Okay. So if I attack and think about doing this, that kind of I can negate, right? No. <laughs> Is that common knowledge? Do I have to tell him that? I mean. Do I have to tell him that? He yeah, I guess you don't have to tell him, but lying would be bad, so just don't answer. <laughs> Find out. Find out. Because <laughs> straight out, I'm probably going to lose this door if you actually play out. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Why do you have to deal with something fucking Quasar? El Quasar. <laughs> Mandatory. If only I had a fucking choice. Alright, so he busted out Quasar, so can I get like the heart of the cards here? Like, I literally just need anything to bait out Quasar. Kaiju, Kaiju. That's not what I needed. That's, that's not what I need at all. Damn, wasn't that Kaiju? <sighs> Santa Claus. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Why? Why? What? And Veiler. God oh, damn oh, it. Wow. 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 Just fuck me. Like, wow. This man literally got the tits on my ass. This is game two. Like, wow. Wow. So you, wow. So you literally got the tits. With um circle, can you summon a mon like so could you summon the wolf bark from your graveyard or not? Or yes, I can, but, but you can only it wouldn't help because he has a negate. Oh, exactly. can you need oh okay. Exactly, so I'm still fucked. That sucks. I'm gonna aim? Aim circle. So you still do you still get the effect then? I think I have to be on the field to resolve the effect. Let's turn it into target. Never mind, it's just gonna get anyway. It doesn't matter. I got fucking nothing. That sucks. If he didn't have the Veiler, you might. He didn't have shit. He didn't have shit, dude. I had that duel. And he just busted out Quasar out of his ass with number generator and shit. And then fucking games me. Like, alright. Alright. If he didn't have the Veiler there, I think you actually might have been able to get over Quasar. If you had YouTube, you'd like Oh, fucking shit. That was bullshit. I got a fucking garbage ass fucking hand and he gets fucking Quasar. Like, ugh, oh, just kill me. How much did I miss? Fucking an hour and 30 minutes of the whole stream? Shit, really? Crap. Yes. I was eating well, dinner got, long. Yeah, we only Crap. have half an hour left. Crap, I'm sorry. Also, I just wanted to tell you that I fucking called it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, who didn't? Who didn't? <laughs> wow, I can't believe I got wrecked by Quasar so late in this fucking game. Usually it's fucking first turn Quasar. No, late fucking, hella late Quasar wrecks my asshole. Makes me feel some type of way. I'm in fucking journey shit. 
multiple fucking tunings and everything. He used up every single fucking result. If he missed even one of the cards, even BLS me and everything, and he's still like bullshit. Makes me want to just fucking off myself, man. <laughs> Makes me just feel some type of way. Guess I'll just take it slow. I mean, I'm assuming it's like maybe like a quill bolt or like a fucking level eater, so fuck it. Summons tomato. I don't really need tomato. Tomato. Yeah, I'm just summoning tomato. No, I'm doppel. Wow, is that doppel? Here comes the junk. Yep, yeah, here comes the junk. <sighs> junk, summon doppel, get your two tokens, making our mateys wreck my tomato. I don't get the effect. Like, we already know the routine. We already know it. Ah. Let's go. Let's actually get this duel started. So what do you think of that Metal Fosis trap? It's good. Been playing them. They're very much more consistent now. You can make a pure build without the Dragos. Just kind of wish you would have got more use out of the fucking. There it is. There it is. Of course. Come in. Go there, mateys. <sighs> I'm already getting sick and tired of this duel. <sighs> now, mateys are junk synchron. And you get that extra 800 boost, that's not terrible. Oh, maybe this would be better there. Yeah. Definitely. Or maybe you can just make Quasar right now. Oh, then just fucking kill myself right now then. I made a whip Nene reference, I did? I don't remember doing that. I like nothing about that song. That song is disgusting, so. That was my impression of it. Okay. <laughs> I may be a little tipsy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Me. Say, aren't you too young to drink? But I forgot. Don't you guys have a lower drinking age in Britain? Yeah, a bunch. Of, I had a bunch of exams last week. Well, this week technically, but in the actual week, and I finally got them over and done with. So you know, probably out with his girlfriend. Oh, just fuck me then. All right. <laughs> What was the level with the tokens? How do you make uh, Quasar? That... Wait, I wasn't watching. Oh, he increased the level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to open the stream up on YouTube. There it is. Contritula. I'm just gonna get wrecked by every single fucking disgusting ass boss monster in Yu Gi Oh! in this fucking duel. Because it sure feels like it. All morning to negate my onslaught. I really haven't seen you set much this entire duel, so that's fine. Crap, I can't believe I missed so much. Yep. <laughs> I don't want to decide to go get super drunk and get hella food free and stuff. Yeah, we, I haven't done uh, Daylight Savings Time yet. It's not until... Actually, it's tonight, so... Oh. <laughs> <My golf. laughs> 
Yeah, I don't know. I I was kind of messed up. Stop messaging me, please. Chaining. Just chain already. Damn. <laughs> fucking driving me crazy in this fucking duel. Chain what? <laughs> Was it Maxi? Wasn't looking. Oh, trap. Target? Damn, <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Chain. No, no, chain. Chain, you have to respond? Like, what? <laughs> Metal forces ignite are a thing. Are they? I don't know. Stop messaging me. Uh. Metal Forces, so why I live. <laughs> the why I still play this game. They're I awesome. Like I, I like them. I like them a lot. I want them to have some more fusion monsters. I don't like them. That should have been obvious, because I hate the pendulum mechanic, so... I like them because they feel like a not broken pendulum deck. They're broken. Oh, are they? Yeah. Just because yeah. of the pendulum mechanic. Even when you make normal monsters, the pendulum mechanic. I like how they, I like how they abuse in the mechanic though. Like what Ignite tried to do. Block <gasps> destruction, destruction. So you can go ahead and crash with my Varenix if he wants to. It's like summon a fire king. That's nice. Might even hop out of the way, depending. Oh wow, he doesn't even want to crash with me? Like, wow. Oh. Uh. Island is good. Oh, yeah. Do I just it. have no way of fucking dealing with. The oh, wait, I can just make a castell. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Yeah. yeah. Fire King Island, boy. Play that, pay a thousand, a card, get rid of it, Viking Island. <laughs> <laughs> and I will go ahead and go Island Effect. We'll go ahead and destroy the Grunix in my hand. Oh, here it goes, Grunix Lock. Yep, Grunix Loop, let's go. And I don't really need you, so I guess I'll go ahead and get you. I barong in my graveyard, wolf bark, so I'm in back barong, like a castell. Does it say when it's removed from the field, or what? This card leaves the field, destroy that monster. Yeah. So if I spin it back to the deck, it's... The, it's, it's gone. It's like, Did you see the cards revealed today, or whatever? What no. might have been yesterday? I knew it. I knew there was a veiler incoming. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Every time. Wait, yeah, wait, so if you were to change circle now, would you still get Wolfbox effect? I'm not sure. I summon it. I have the effect. I target. I summon it, right? Yeah, yeah. I think you do, right? Mailer on summon or or chain to effect. Because I would summon. Resolve line. Activate my effect targeting the monster. He would hit me. Oh, the Baylor. I would chain circle, which means yeah, I would yeah, yeah, yeah. My that would work. I'm pretty sure that would work. Then I'm going to chain. Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. It's just I don't have another target. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. It doesn't work. Never mind. It doesn't work. Never mind. It doesn't work. Never mind. Wait, can you just summon the? 
What part can't summon Garth, can you? Garunix or whatever. Well, I can't summon Garunix. It's really level four. Oh, no, no. You can summon it with Circle and then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Bark will summon the. Yeah. But I still don't have any plays. Yeah. Still doesn't, still doesn't let you make Castell. Have I'm you got any rank that. eights, maybe? No. <laughs> I don't think I even do it in the rank eight plays in here. It's just rank fours. Damn. Here's the one time. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's no point. Yeah, there's no yeah, point. Yeah, never mind. That sucks. It would have been such a nice play if you had someone in the grave. Fucking, how does this man have everything on me? Every single thing I do. A locker. So I just end my turn and then to wipe someone Garunix and I can't touch this fucking Trish, so. Oh, wait, you could uh, circle the Garunix, get the Barong out the grave. Right? Oh, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> yeah, duh, I could do that. Circle. <laughs> duh. Duh. <laughs> duh. <laughs> duh. My favorite play, but it's something. Nice. I got that sweet Garunix leap. Well, multiple Garunix are still gonna come back, so that's all good. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, I love how the play was so they obvious. Had, they, they, they had to go to zero. Like, for that, what, two weeks that they were legal with Dark Matter, that deck was wrecking. Like, that deck is so powerful. If you guys haven't seen Lithium 2300's channel, the previous ban list cup, it made it to, what, the semifinals? Ridiculous, man. No. I love how that was like the most obvious flight. It took us ages to see it. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I'm good. I got like nothing left. So. I mean, knowing him, he'll, he'll, he still has plays for days. You know, there's some lights, there's some darks. So I would not be, su I would not be surprised go. if uh, the LS. <laughs> Even if he does something in DLS, I mean, he's still, at least I got that second Grunix in my pocket. You can never complain about the second Grunix in your pocket. <laughs> Nope. Nope. No Dragon Lore. Stay banned. I don't even get how you guys miss them so much. Like, they were fucking just terrible cards. <laughs> I liked my one of Redox in my plant decks. Like, oh my god. Just give me one Redox back. They were just so cancerous. Nope, I'm sorry. They're, they're a team. It's all or nothing when it's the Dragon Rulers. You can't show any favoritism. You know, fucking people would riot if they undo yeah, the Dragon Rulers they would. and not the others. They would riot. It's true. <laughs> all right. Oh, still a synchro deck, so I guess I'll sit here and watch this man touch himself. Yep. <laughs> yep. I ever told you I don't like synchro decks. Really? I like them. I, like I don't like synchro decks. I've never played one, and I can't stand dueling them. I like having a fink on my feet. Uh, no. Blaster back would make Inferno's Tears Zero. Get that out of here, marked one. That's not enough to make Inferno's Tears Zero. <laughs> no! No Dragon Rulers! Shit! That's talking about Dragon Rulers. Disgusting. He said Redox is useless. <laughs> He's a monster reborn. How is he useless? And that's power too. The all of them were power. Like, hell no. It is literally all or nothing. And right now my I'm plant good. decks are shit without him now. You guys want to fucking? I wouldn't even say Redox is the worst. I'd probably say fucking Tempest is the worst. If you're not playing a fucking dragon-related deck, its banish effect isn't even that good. Its pitch effect isn't even that Redox good. Redox is what I live for. At least Redox is a monster born. But you literally have to be playing a dragon deck with Tempest to make use of it. Yeah. 
Unless you're gonna throw it in harpies, but who the fuck plays harpies? <laughs> yeah, <Tempest is> worst. <laughs> now, if you're talking about like stat wise, I mean that's debatable because it does have the lowest redux of the less attack, but it has the biggest booty. Yeah, I've seen a handful. Literally, of that's yeah, that's saved me so many times in my plant duels. That's debatable. Well, and it was, on, it was depends so on which context. Oh my god! All right, I'm in, myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> summon in redox from grave, then summon in with its effect, then summon in glow bulb from grave, making a sink eight. Fucking soul charge, man! Fucking soul charge. God, I hate that card. Why? 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 Why is it coming to this? At least if he makes a quasar, I can handle it. Oh, there's two Jack Librarian. If he makes a quasar, I mean, Grunix is coming back. He'll, of course, negate that, and I got the Dark Hole. It'll take a lot of my resources, but at least I have something. Like, wow. Let's get fucking wrecked by Soul Charge. <laughs> uh, Soul Charge, you are the epitome of fucking cancer. This man plays the Dragonfly. Yeah, he did that last duel. Make that fucking quasar. Yeah, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We can make one right now. Yep. And draw a card for it. Mm -hmm. No, no. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. What? Level There's, quasar. There's quasar again. No, nope, maybe not. <laughs> no. Nice. You also draw a couple more cards and respect TG Blade Buster. <laughs> You want to say your dragonfly facts? Nah. And now Quasar? Look at that. Soul Charge. Soul Charge. Let's go. I'm literally dying from fucking cancer. This duel has <laughs> just been terrible. You can feel the tumors growing on your back. Mm hmm. It's time to stop. And you've got a brand new fucking hand, that's fair. Yeah, this should stay at one forever. I think I've been spending the majority of the time in this string dueling this guy because he has these marathon ass turns. Hmm. Should play some evil hero, you bell. You should play some what? Evil hero, you bell. No, that is garbage. Oh, nah, it's pretty good. It's garbage. I won a couple games of it. So, slow charge, of course, allows you to bust that Quasar and, of course, one for one because you fucking can. Go ahead and summon that glow up bulb. Then go into another formula, draw two cards. Like, oh, number, number and jet, so you can get this fucking search. Like, I am literally dying from cancer here. This is cancer. But I hate Soul Charge. I hate that card so much. It's perfectly balanced. No. But Monster Reborn isn't. It's not balanced. Nothing balanced about that card. Was that five? That was four, right? Two, yeah, three, four. four. Learn to count. Four. A bolt, jet, and level leader. Can you count to four? Let's see a bit of Hasta. Just go into another fucking quick draw, draw two cards, and get the search, replenish your entire hand, so even if I deal with fucking Quasar, you still got resources at the act, and then I will go ahead and commit Seppuku Habakiri and end my life. 
I die for honor. <laughs> There's no honor in this door. There's literally <laughs> a fucking number generator. Like, I'm tired of this number generator fucking me in the ass all day long. I'm actually sick and tired of it. Man, Hyper Librarian is quite the card. Yeah, stay at one forever. No, I think we need at no. least four of it. Hell Let's no. have a special rule two. where Not you can two. run. Special Not even fucking two. Like, special shit. rule where you can run four of them. Just that one card you can run four of. I'm actually starting to fall asleep. Like, I haven't slept. I barely got any sleep, and this man's putting me to sleep. That destroys all your monsters then, right? Yeah. Unless you want to negate that with Quasar. Well spell. Okay. How about that? Yeah, I know how to play this game. Holy fair. He like points, he can't attack. Soul Charge is such a fair card. Hmm. I mean, he can't attack now, otherwise he'd be dead. Of course. So it's pretty balanced. <laughs> no. As far as I think it needs to be at free. Soul Charge. So the choice is yours. It might not be a terrible negate because both the Grunooks are going to come back and they're both going to try to go off and wipe you. So you can only negate one, you're going to get fucked over by the other one. So. Choice is yours. This is actually boring. Like, is anybody else amused by this? Anybody else? Because I'm bored. This is boring, and I'm falling asleep. Like, can you wrap this up? Well, Bennis, not only is he playing a slow deck, but he plays slow himself, like, just in general. He's a slow player. Nick and Lazdor, he sat there forever until he made a fucking Quasar. Like, nigga, like, Quasar. Always Quasar. The answer is always Quasar. Two plus two, it's fucking Quasar. Calculate it. <laughs> Oh, whoa, I just noticed my mouse has, like, a button for a double click. That's so cool. So I'm perfectly fine. I got that Quasar handle. I'll be like, Grunix effect, Grunix effect. You want to get one Wait of them? for the you second one. one. Wait for the yeah. second one. <laughs> so I'll at least be okay this turn. It's not going to stop him from drawing more shit with Hyper Librarian. Five, what? six, seven, eight. Nine, ten? Is that ten? Wait, who? what did he use? He used Low Leader, Hyper Librarian, Formula Synchron. Synchron. And did he use that too? Yeah. Wait, what? I'm so, so I guess he's not doing that. Holy shit! Please! <laughs> Make your damn mind up. I have more people that want to fucking duel me in this fucking live stream. I've been sitting here dueling you for at least an hour. Shuffle your hand. <laughs> like, you got the tits. What more could you ask for? 
Yet you're sitting here taking a fucking shenanigan amount of time. Like, hurry the fuck up. Jesus Christ, man. Play something, anything. Because then you turn. That's one good play you can do. I said, if this was on fucking Death Pro, I would have won by now. Yeah. Timer. Yep. Finally done. Thank you. Stand by phase. And of course, I've got fucking ultimate on there. <laughs> Why not? What's the sad thing is, he's still gonna get a fucking shooting star, and I got nothing for that. Doesn't that sound so fun? Mm hmm. Double negate. Two grimaces. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Probably forgot with your fucking marathon ass fucking turn. Remember, I was I had my Grunix loop going on before you fucking top deck soul charge and started doing your shenanigan play. So there was two Grunix going off. One got killed early in the turn, and the other one got killed by my fucking field spell. So, but it doesn't matter. You're gonna summon fucking shooting star anyway, and I got nothing for that. <laughs> I got absolutely nothing for shooting star. Instead of fucking drawing sure right huh? You sure he runs it? Shooting star because yeah. I mean he had that freaking TG. Shooting star equivalent. He should. I mean, there's, what's, what's the point of him playing Quasar unless you have shooting star to back it up? So, other than wipe all your shit, you summon shooting star, I have fucking absolutely nothing for that. Then maybe I'll survive, he'll kill my Grunix, I can float off of that, maybe summon make a Castella or something. I don't think I could think of, a Drill to Nightmare is totally what I needed to draw. Waiting for your response. Maybe it not shoot and stuff. I think that up and you can't even synchro because it's not even my main phase. So. It all depends on if you're running Shooting Star or not. If you're running Shooting Star, then no. Because <laughs> I have nothing for Shooting Star. Looks like he's not. You just win then. <laughs> yeah, if you don't have Shooting Star, then I win. Now I'm gonna ask him too, is it optional or mandatory? If it's optional, don't tell us. Uh, when this card is you can summon You can, star. yeah, it's optional. It's optional. GG. <laughs> uh, summon attack. Quickly, before he notices. Not since I won. Wait, 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 yeah, wait for him yeah, to. I already won. There's, there wasn't, there's no taking it back. I already won the main phase, battle phase, attack. The, get, the gameplay is, state is already irreparable. So I'm just going to ask him shooting. Because if you have shooting, you could have survived. Do you have so much shit in your extra deck that you can, you don't have room for shooting star? Because in that case, that's actually He does use the bloody TGs, so maybe, yeah. maybe he doesn't have room. Of course you did. He yeah, could have banished one of your freaking Garunixes, but instead he popped it. 
Yep. So just go ahead and admit, hit that admit defeat button and I'll bask in the fucking glory of fuck your number generator. <laughs> Alright, it doesn't look like you can hit that many defeat buttons, so I'm just gonna leave. I got the satisfaction of victory, so that's all that matters. There's how many people wanted to play? And boo. Okay, he just snitches me something. He, is he, I guess he's not on anymore. Okay, Machina took so long that he fucking left, so. I guess it's Mal. Uh, I said, I guess I'll run ahead a little bit longer because I was late, despite you not showing up for fucking... Sorry. Uh, you build monarchs. Let's go. Ew. Now, depending on how long Mal's duel lasts. I get, I'll, I'll pick one more request after Mal. So if anybody wants to hop on and tell me, then I'll get one more black now. Because I was late. Are you still watching that candy shop anime? Uh, I think I'm a couple episodes behind, but yeah, I'll, I plan to watch it. I think I would enjoy the show more if I actually knew the candy. Oh, I, I kind of know it because... Uh... What, one time, like before I even liked anime, I just randomly bought a crate of Japanese candy <laughs> when I was little. And I, I had those, you know, the little whistle candies they're talking about at the oh, beginning. Yeah. I, I had those, yeah. They're really nice, actually. They taste really good. And they're annoying as fuck. <laughs> Every single time, man. <laughs> Sick and tired of fucking chasing Tiago. I want to do a Tiago. I just go do a Tiago, damn it. <laughs> Is it Galaxy then? Oh, yeah. I love that card, Arc Brave. It's a good card. It's so good. I did not open up well at all. Like so your boots. Yeah, summon Galaxy Knight, summon back your Dragon, XC into like maybe Felgrand and just detach off of Felgrand because why not? Or no, no, you could probably go into something different. Anything that will get you to detach. So you can summon back Photon with Arc Brave. Maybe even Dark Matter. If you have enough dragons, knowing you, you probably do. I just had to banish shit from my deck. That sounds fun. <laughs> nah, I just can go in the man. Now I guess I'll just struggle from the jump street. Sounds fun. But wait, there's more. Or not? Okay, so now definitely, if you're not going to detach Belgrand, then just foolish another photon dragon. I'm actually really sick and tired of facing this deck. Like, I literally face this deck every single live stream. Well, Galaxy, seriously? Yes, Mal plays me every single week with this deck. <laughs> it's literally been the same fucking Galaxy shit for, like, the last three weeks. So I, go, yeah. I haven't talked to Tiago in forever, though. The internet's been down, and I haven't talked to him in at least over a month. So, mm -hmm. in two months. But you need a dose of Galaxy? <laughs> no, sick and tired of dueling this fucking deck. Like, yes, I'm totally like seeing fucking program. I just want to just play fucking trains. Choo choo, Marvel Plus. Fucking bitch ass fuck ran over. Yeah. Nice. So you're gonna banish nothing with it. Yep. That's not what I needed. And I literally have fucking nothing right now. A lot of trap cards. Yep. There's more trap cards than Burger Stormer, you bet. Yep. 
questioning whether I should play this or not. Yeah. Yeah, I'll play it. Go ahead. Oh, I should have killed the fucking galaxy soldier. Oh, Rick. Oh my god. If I get punished for that, then I deserve to lose. I forgot yes. it had 2,000 fucking booty. I mean, zero booty, 2,000 attack. I think it's the other way around because it's someone in defense. How come whenever I fucking get traded, I never get mice targets? I'm like, what the fuck? Mm. <laughs> Should have killed the galaxy soldier. Oh, it's totally my bad. No, I'm look, he'll probably just pitch some another Gex soldier going to the Pleiades and shit. Oh, broken ass fucking gospel. Yep, broken ass but gospel. Monster Reaver one. The, with an extra effect. That card, that card is broken. The gospel is broken. It is. Like, why the fuck would you give the strongest fucking type in all of Yu-Gi-Oh a monster one? What the fuck is wrong with you? And then also, not only that, but it protects them too. And protects them from destruction. Like, are you on fucking crack, Konami? Well, you know, they want people to buy their structure decks. Fuck your structure decks. I hate dragons. Like I said, I next time Mal challenges me to a duel and he's playing this shit, I'm not gonna duel him. Because I am so sick and tired of seeing this deck. Like I'm actually sick and tired of seeing this deck. Fair enough. Shit, I don't need. I don't need you. <laughs> probably don't need. Do they have to be different names? No, maybe, yes. No, no, they don't. They definitely don't. No, just Another one? Really? Another one. All right, I'm oh, yeah, gonna... and also they didn't make it once per turn. Yeah, uh... so I'm just going to go ahead and fucking kill myself. Because now got the tip. Look at your back row, man. So much. You're fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I help you out wow. a lot. So you just get the tits. Oh, what about Trap Monster, you bell? Uh, sure. That isn't Bogostoma, like that statue card that pops things whenever you summon a trap as a monster. Then I got fucking nothing. I would literally have to top deck into a fucking. First, I'd have to hope that he doesn't block this with Fell Grand. He rocked this with Fell Grand, that's game. That's a tack tack game. Yeah, that's game. That's game then. Like, like, I don't get it. You're testing the deck. Like, do I have to be your fucking bitch every single week? Like, I don't want to do it. Stop facing me with this damn deck every single fucking week. Every single stream. I literally think you dueled me with this fucking galaxy deck on the stream the last three, four streams. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm getting shit on. And he's That's still testing it. And he's, still, and he's still, still testing it. Like, nigga, what are you testing? <laughs> shit. It's fine. It's a fucking galaxy deck where you get the tits and I open up ass. I don't want to duel Tiago. I never like doing Tiago and you're like trying to take in his place. I don't want to duel that shit. How many times do I got to duel that fucking cat? I like shit more than monarchs. Like, hmm, let me see. Can my fucking tier 2, tier 2.5 deck beat the shit out of you, though? Yes, it can. Especially if I open up shit. <laughs> And I get the tits. Like, holy shit. Like, he opened up the tits. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. I'll give him two minutes to log in. If he doesn't log in, I'm ending the stream because I'm tired. I'm so fucking tired. 
every single fucking week. Like, I, I, so one of the things I can't stand about my viewers and subscribers, I can't humor them with shit. <laughs> They know I'm playing you, Bell, and they're gonna fucking bring that shit. Like, oh, first turn fell grab with the fucking banish all your shit. Like, oh yeah, or, thank you. With gospels and multiple summons, just beating the shit out of me. Like, thank you, Mel. I really appreciate it. Okay, how about instead of testing that, how about you work on them fucking you Bell decks I asked you to work on? Ho ho. First time I won the deck. Oh, now you're now you're bragging, like nigga, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> like you, you, you are the, right now. You're acting like one of them douchebags that I would throw a punch at. Cause you, you, you need to take your fucking victory with fucking grace, nigga. This grace. <laughs> you fucking beat me because you got tits and I opened up ass. GG. Yu Gi Oh, so skill. <laughs> Much skill, very well. I'm going to get a cookie. Dude, if you win that, guys, Jewel, you get a cookie. Oh, All it's right, gone. I'm just going to get a random door. It doesn't look like he's logging back in. I'll Jewel you if you want. A drunk Jewel in. Let's get a random door. I don't care. Oh, I was going to bring anti evil the deck. Why not? They're going to be main deck in those shadow imprisonings. Like I said, generally when I beat you now, I, I you put me in my my shit against the wall and I got out of the situation. That that was just you getting the tits. Like holy shit. Well, I see you just had a bunch of trap cards. Yep. Didn't get any fucking Phantom Knights. So tired. I haven't got to sleep in like fucking forever. Love to see Terra. He's pulling out. That's his, that's his one job. Show up in your hand. No, after this, this stream is over. I'm tired. I haven't slept in hours. I barely got any sleep last night. It's good to know my hand is still fucking ass. Set to him, probably gonna get twin chest. I'll take it slow. You want to pop my fog blade more power to you? I actually got something in twin twister now. That's nice. Whatever happened to New Gio? Is that still a thing? Probably just no one talks about it anymore. Because I remember the one time I played it, I used to do the, the last turn combo thing. Because last turn was made legal <laughs> for some reason. So, last turn, Jauk and the Spiritualist, GG. I remember Generator is still nice and powerful. Like me, Terror, Mathematician. Was that sheep in, wolf's uh, wolf in Sheep's Clothing or whatever? I haven't seen that card in ages. Mm-hmm. Get gloves so he has to catch those hands. <laughs> uh, I guess masks. Just go ahead and take that one, most, I guess. Yep. So it's just like level one dot deck. I'm guessing it's maybe like blue eyes blaster blade or something. Cause Skittles. No, it's oh, so it's page. old blue eyes. A woman no. chief club. Oh, he's got a five card okay. extra deck. I'd like to point out. I guess. I'm not really too afraid of blue eyes. Bay doesn't even play the new cards. I don't know. 
Seems like he's going extremely slow, though. Catch these hands. Yeah, I can make him catch these hands. I mean, some of them go into you, pop you, pop you. Some of them you will probably go into. No, I don't want to do that. Probably just attack. You could just summon oh, the gloves. And then get some damage in. I don't want to keep the mathematician, though. Yeah, yeah, I but I mean, just like poke over the. The thing about summoning you, especially summoning you, go into Alucard, pop that, be a 28 beer attack attack. Yeah, like, you could do that. Yeah, that works. I got resources right now. I'm okay. Just go into Alucard. There's no reason to go into Blade. Up there for me. <sighs> go ahead and get my sword. Ah, medical cylinder. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Every time. Every time. We've all lost a duel because of magical cylinder. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. A powerful sword. Attack. 2800. Fun. Alright. Master Tiffin could have handled that. <laughs> But that's a Giga Tech Wolf. Oh, um, do you reckon he typed wolf in? Put everything in. Sheep in wolf's clothing. Giga Tech Wolf. Yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep. I, 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 I literally got like two hours of sleep on night. I've been up since two o'clock in the morning. So, but I was like, I can power through the sleep for the stream. No, no. <laughs> ah. Ah. Uh. Uh. Oh my. <laughs> I was just saying 2800 is my monster. Yeah. 2800. In case you had that big God, juicy this, booty. This guy. Uh. He's a pro. Hey, hey his rating uh, looks. His rating's higher than mine. That's true. <laughs> his rating is higher than mine. I looked just to know if you want to duel or not. Want to duel who? Sure. Uh, this duel won't last much longer. So, sure. Are you going to stay online this time? <laughs> Savage. <laughs> Fucking tired, man. <laughs> I'll do you off the stream, Alex. Do you see this new panda guy, Miracle Panda? Whatever his name is revealed today, as well as Scape Ghost. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing that. Oh, they're pretty. They're pretty fun. More raccoon support, pretty much. Fuck. God, I hate raccoons. No, but like, uh, like the they got, and then the other card, Scape Ghost, <laughs> is interesting. It's a level one flip effect monster. When it gets flipped up, you summon as many sheep tokens as you can. Let's wrap this door up so I can go ahead and get this last door. It's in pure order. 15, 28, It wasn't really GG because he didn't really do anything, but all right. <laughs> Some weird blue eyes deck. Oh dear. I guess you're playing something that's going to pick everything out of my hand, huh? 
Enjoy. Oh, is it that deck? The one that summons Trishula and Triple Omega on turn one? Guess we'll find out. Sounds pretty good. So the shield is like a trap monster, yeah? Yeah. So I still... I guess he opened up crap. No, he said he picked the wrong deck. <laughs> but... Oh. I guess he's playing it out anyway. Up to you. We can, we can rehost. I want you to actually be happy with your duel, because there's not going to be another one for today. Alright then. You... So, I guess we are rehosting. Yeah, you say K. I guess what the deck he was using was a Hoban deck. <laughs> I, I don't know. Definitely losing my enthusiasm. So fucking tired. Sorry about that, Prodigy, but I'm just exhausted. <laughs> And I don't open up nearly as well. I had a good hand, too. And the hand is pretty good. I duck off though. Two master, two vector. <sighs> I'm probably like the only person in the world that if the pendulum mechanic literally just disappeared from Yu-Gi-Oh, I would not regret anything. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the mechanic so much. Probably hate the pendulum mechanic more than almost anything in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Let's go master and vector and all that good shit. I was playing this I was playing this deck before Jeff Jones topped with it. I was playing with it before it came out in T C G, so the stream is supposed to be stream is actually what is it? <laughs> actually over. I'm actually overtiming it on the day that I'm actually tired. I showed up 10 minutes late, but I'm 22 minutes over, so I've, I've done my time. I did the crime. <laughs> I've done my time. Yeah, I've done my time. It's that much of a task. It's like prison. It is. It is. Yu-Gi-Oh! is prison. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm gonna attack. I have to be equipped again. Eight hundred attack, right? So there's there's no point in chain. It's not wings. No. It's fine. Oh, Gishki. Oh, we have a Gishki loop. That's why he said he's gonna get rid of your hand. Oh. Fine. Yeah, I know, right? That's fine. You can shoot. Please go ahead and pick the shit out of my hand. I don't need it. I don't need. <clears throat> Fucking dark griffin is probably not going to get much work use. Oh so. yeah, it's the classic. All right. Heretic Gishki. Oh, this deck. Hmm. Hmm. -hmm.
he gets to see them. Yeah, see buff ones. Mm. Yeah. I thought he was just randomly picking one. Yeah. And he goes back to the deck? Yeah. That's fine. But I didn't use Chaos Bell in the stream because it's still not even works. Deck's just doing too much. It's just a steaming pile of shit. Is it Ultimate time? Or M7 to get the uh, Evergishki back. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know the loop. Who had the uh, the one that searches the spell or whatever back to his hand? Oh, okay. He must have run out of tribute fodder. Hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's see if he has another aquamir in hand then. Nope. So I guess it comes down to his back row, what his play is right now. Probably will be able to get it. I don't got any fucking fog blades. I didn't open up with any. I had I had one last duel, but we had to press the reset button on it, so we can that door. Mm. Great. Yep. Hunky dory. Yep. I mean, I'm not done. I can still do place. Just that, that kind of hurt. Have I been normal summon this turn? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah rugged gloves. That's right. Catch these hands. Oh, is the shield level three? Nice. I use the traps during his turn. Am I allowed to do that? What'd you say? Am I allowed to use the trap cards during his turn? Yeah, 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 from the grave, yeah. Alright. Pretty good. I thought you were just asking me in general if you're allowed to use trap cards on your opponent's turn. <laughs> Yeah, dog. Uh, oh, Gorgon isn't terrible. I, mean, I don't think there's anything to slap away to. Thanatos, maybe? Hmm. Yeah. No, because his shit's stronger than me. It's fucking Gishki. Oh, is it? What's it? Yeah. Oh, he's only 350. Yeah, the Gishki. Crap. Yep, so, uh. Pure Gorgon, stronger. Or Dark Rebellion. I really don't need Pure Gorgon to do anything. Yeah, true. <sighs> Solemn morning wrecks me, man. No surprise, though.
So, I'm just going to summon him again, pick something out of my hand again. You already know what it is. It was Dark Ruffer. It was always Dark Ruffer. Ultimaya. Yeah. Now, of course, you have a set card. Watch him not. <laughs> oh, that would have been funny. Ultimaya as well. Yep. Fields. And then that's pretty much game because there's like no fucking way I can deal. Vordogar. Oh wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, actually, actually. Uh uh. No. Okay. Pain. What does that trap do? Negate if you can banish this card again and target one face up. Oh, another banish trap card. Oh. I thought that was just card on the field. My bad. My bad. My bad. That's just this card. And it says during your turn as well. So that one you can only use on your turn. Never mind. Never mind. I'll just be extremely fucked. Finces. Not as any card, like no. Specifically, this trap card during my turn. Yeah. So I'm not gonna get much use out of that. Curses. Still looks okay. I don't know why he summoned Void either. I don't know why he summoned it either. I would have won the Beals. I guess he was assuming that he wouldn't have any more cards in his hand. Yeah, but he set an upstart and then used the upstart. Mm -hmm. so, I know the two cards in his hand. I know everything that he has right now. I can just go into my sword, break sword, pop him, pop himself, summon back. Going to like Dark Rebellion, run over the ultimate to Zulkin, and then all he has is his two ritual monsters, no ritual spells in this guy. So I think I might actually be able to come back into this duel. Nice. Chain White. Yeah, you got cards in there. <laughs> I know, Chain White. <laughs> <laughs> UPS, I have a hand. That's my last one. Here we go. Do I have to immediately exceed? No, I don't have to immediately exceed. Ooh. Get the double kill. Let me get that double kill in. I mean, it's not gonna really do much with the thing anyway, so. Double kill. kill. Yeah. Plus two for me, and next see these two and two. At this point, I guess it really doesn't matter. Wait, so you haven't used rugged gloves this turn yet, right? So you get the thousand boost. I did use them. Did you? Yeah, did you use remember. them to summon? Yeah. Oh, okay, it might be. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, Maybe the other rebellion? Fuck it. No. Oh. I'm hold on to that. Don't know. Yeah, Khan Gorgon then. In case he draws like MST or something. I can slap it to one of Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. 
even well, twin twisted targets too, so it doesn't work, does it? I don't believe so. That's exactly one card on the field. Yeah. So I know you have your two Gitchki monsters. Huh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Where you at? Yeah, you can special summon him, but all that is done. Whew. Ah, <laughs> the power. Nice. That was better. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Always on the mess. Never misplayed in my life. <laughs> Always do math. Meth is so good. <laughs> like, that's where you messed up. You wouldn't avoid over instead of going to the meth. If you would have been in the meth, you man, you would have had me. <laughs> it's crystal, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's crystal meth. It's just power. It's like one of the best things about Tamaya. Has there been a synchro though? What do you mean by synchro now? What do you mean by synchro you know? Like the synchron synchron guys? No. Because well, I mean what would you do with that? You probably just get in the way. I really got it. Yeah, yeah, we got a fog play. If I went to being level that. ten is a bit hard to sync with. <laughs> yeah, well, what does that fucking do? It's M seven, loop M seven, loop M seven. Take everything out of my hand. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. I got a fog play next turn. Yeah, that sounds fun. No, I don't think there's a synchrony bell, nor do I think that. It just doesn't have any synergy. It really doesn't. Anyway, I'm super tired. I'm gonna take a nap. I need one. So I guess you're coming back next fucking Saturday since you missed the majority of yeah, the stream. Yeah, sorry. Sorry about yeah. that. <laughs> I just quit fucking featuring Lunar, so, sort of. <laughs> so <laughs> an hour and a half late. Skip, yeah, late skip, to, skip to this time for Luna. <laughs> we know that's, that's why you're here. Alright, so you're gonna go ahead and do Alex, I guess? Yep, looks like. That's fine. Alright, people. Cheers. I'm salty about now. He pissed me off. I'm sick and tired of fucking doing that deck never again. <laughs> he's so fucking, he's so fucking sorry. He's like, dude, no, I'm just salty that I got fucking wrecked like that. Fucking, you just gaped my asshole. I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't uh. ready. <laughs> Back to back is tight on space. Like when what you Armageddon Knights and level eaters and you bell sync well that way? A deck is tight on shit and you bell has no synergy. You're really just throwing you bell in there and send it in the way. Yeah, that, that was just salty. I mean, got the fucking tits. I wouldn't have fucking trash. But I pulled through on some duels, so it's not bad, but yeah. No, you about beat this week because it's down to renovations. Waiting for that ban list. As soon as I get that ban list, I can actually dirt doing more things. Like, uh, I should kind of wish that that leak list is the real list just so I can have a fucking list. <laughs> have something to work with. Yeah, I'm done. All right. Thank you, for, Luna, for joining me for like the last no hour. No problem. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, I guess we'll have you back. Uh, I guess have fun doing Alex. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Thanks for support. Gonna go take a nap. See you guys uh, on uh, Monday with Daily Duels and stuff. Car review. Alright, thanks for watching.